Hello and welcome. Let's model this soccer ball with Autodesk Inventor Professional 2024. I will start in an empty part file in millimeters with a sketch on the top plane. I'll take that polygon tool, five sided for a pentagon, hold that out here. Line that horizontally and give it one dimension 22. All right. And so with that soccer ball, we have um, hexagons on each side of that pentagon. And I will sketch just one line here. Give that an equal length and dimension that with an angle of 122, uh, 120, which is the angle found in the um, hexagon. And that's it for that first sketch. Now, um, that hexagon is not going to be on that plane. But we can use that line for revolve to find the exact position. So I go into the revolve, take that um, profile here, this is going to be a surface revolve, around that axis. I don't need to have that go on 360 degrees. I'll just make it 120 and OK that. I'll make my sketch one visible again and have a look at that surface. So somewhere on that surface, there's going to be um, that line, um, which is part of that hexagon. So the same goes for that next side. So I'll just mirror this um, surface over the XY plane here. XY. OK that. And that's how I find in that intersection of those two planes that line. So to catch that, I'll start a 3D sketch. Take the intersection curve tool, pick that surface and that one. OK that. And there you see it, yellow. I finished that sketch. And I will just delete. Um, the, I'll delete those two surfaces. All right, so with that um, edge, we can define a plane with three points. So I'll take that one, that one, and that one over here, and start a 2D sketch on that plane. And that's going to be my hexagon. So I'll drop it there. And I will project let's say that edge and create a uh, coincident constraint between that point here and that one. And that makes it fully constrained here. Okay, um, I will just draw one uh, point here as a midpoint of that line. I'll explain the next step what that is for. But first I'll hide that plane to keep things organized here. And now with these two um, uh, sketches I can find the center point of my soccer ball. 
So again, I'll take that three points tool, pick that one, pick this one, and that one. All right, there it is, our plane. And I'll start a 2D sketch on that one by projecting some geometry first. That center point, that line, let's say that line, and that center point. And continue by drawing a line from that very point somewhere up here. I'll keep it at an angle for a moment. And now apply that perpendicular constraint between uh, our line and that projected line here. And the same thing over here. Again, this is fully constrained. All right, so um, since we got the, the center point of our um, soccer ball, we can define the, um, the dimension, the, the diameter of that ball. So I'll take the center point arc command, attach that to our center, and for now I'll just draw something like that. Um, dimension that with a one 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 um, dimension and draw one line over here length isn't that important this will serve as the exit for the next revolve so I finish that sketch go again into the revolve select that as the profile, that as my axis, go into the symmetric um, direction and OK that. And again, now hide that work plane. And now I will project um, that pentagon and in the next step the hexagon so first I will just um, copy that surface body here so we get four surface bodies I will hide the the fourth and now start that 3d sketch command again and go to project to surface so I want to project to that face and I want to take these five lines and for the output we can choose a, a vector or we can choose project to closest point and that is what I want. Apply that and there it is. All right so that is projected on that surface and we can use that line to split that body. So I finish my sketch, go to split. Um, the tool is going to be my 3D curve and the face is going to be that one. OK that. And then just delete that face. And there we have that um, pentagon projected. Now let's make that fourth surface body visible again and do that same operation for the hexagon. So I start a 3D sketch with a project to surface, take that face, pick um, pick those six lines go to um, closest point okay that and there it is finish that then split with that curve that face and delete that face all right 
So um, now let's um, trans transform our surfaces into solid bodies. For that, I take the thicken command, pick that face. I'll um, direction, I'll use the inside and take 2.5 uh, millimeters and do that one more time with that same value. So now we get here to solid bodies. And again, well, we can just hide all surface bodies and apply a fillet of two millimeters. For the fillet, I will pick uh, the selection priority to edge loops. Take that. All right, and do that one more time for that one. Okay, then. Now let's mirror those. Um, for that, I will make that sketch number three visible again. Define a plane with the three points again. Pick that center point and pick that point here and that one. All right. Go to the mirror, take the mirror solids, creating new solids, pick those two, and the mirror plane is that one. Great. You can hide that sketch plane or that work plane again. So that's what we get. And now let's make a circular pattern of solids. Again, creating new bodies of those three around the um, y-axis five times. All right. So we get half of the solids we need for our soccer ball. So let's just uh, mirror that over a plane, which is defined by that line and that end endpoint. So I go to plane and go to normal to curve at point. Take that line or curve. And our plane is defined. Now I get these 14, no, 16 bodies. Okay. All together. I will go to mirror solids. Again, new solids, and by shift selecting, I take all of those over that plane. All right. Okay. Now we need to um, rotate what we had mirrored. So I go to move bodies and take for everything from solid 17 to um, the end. Take that, go into the uh, rotate about line, all right? Pick that, well, okay, pick that Y um, axis, which is to be found here. Apply that angle of 36 and there we got the form we got all solids ready I'll just um, hide those sketches for example I can find the find in browser that that sketch and just um, hide it what about that one here which one is that? Um, there's a 3D sketch. Hide that. There is um, sketch one. Hide that. Okay, that's it. And now 
Let's apply some appearance to that. Um, I'll just go into the list here and type in W and find the white appearance. Maybe I want to hide those um, edges and go to shaded with hidden. No, uh, with to the shaded mode. And now let's go into the selections, um, select bodies option here. And just pick our Pentagon bodies again with shift selecting. Those should be um, 12. I got on one, two, three, four, five, six. And here, yeah, three more. Four, five, one is missing here. That one. And go to dark gray. And let's have a look at our soccer ball from all sides. And our design is finished. Well, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, um, subscribe. Uh, or to see more videos like this and I see you in the next one.